Hello once again, our most valued student. My name is Confident and welcome to our algebraic expressions. We are looking at factorizing and in this lesson, we're going to focus on factorization that involves brackets. And don't forget in the previous lesson, I did quite a number of factorization here, which I will encourage you to check them out. We're factorizing these concepts here. So check the previous lesson, but now, we are looking at the factorization involving what brackets as well as changing the sign rule so without wasting time let's look at this factorization what is it saying it says we need to factorize now i'm going to lay some important concepts here we have got a x plus y plus b x plus y that's where now we lay some concepts of factorization so if you are given this right and you are told to factorize so when you're talking about factorization here one thing first look at the brackets are they the same x plus y x plus y that bracket is the same as that bracket that's the first thing to notice if it's like that that's what you write you say equal to x plus y you write what is common that means that bracket is common you don't have to write it twice you write it once because already you have represented it. Now you open another bracket and write what is outside the bracket. Look at these two guys here. It's A and then you see this one is what? Plus B. And then you factorize. So the answer there is what? Is X plus Y and what? And A plus B. That's the factorization that you've just done there. All right difficult no are you able to see this yes now let's look at the next one it says what x and they're factorizing x minus y plus y and x minus y i think that and then also what are we doing we are looking at factorization what do you do here same thing look at the brackets x minus y i see the brackets are the same i tick there then i take a bracket equal to i see that x minus y is common then i look at what is outside see that what is outside i see x and y but what is the sign is a plus then you do that then you're good to go you're factorized do you see what's happening there difficult no let's look at the next one there it is 2x and then what we have x minus y and then minus 4y and then x minus y now pay attention to the pay attention i want you to pay attention to this because it can confuse you a bit if you're not ready look at this same concept x minus y x minus y that bracket is that bracket so equal to I write as x minus y and then what is outside look at that what do you have open the bracket you have got 2x what minus 4y look at the sign is negative right so it's minus 4y now I'm gonna do this since if I say to you 2x minus 4y is equal to I ask you to say how do you factorize this the previous lesson i showed you that this is same as 2x and then 4 if you say shift with the calculator 4 equal to shift fact it will give you minus 2 squared y right now you can see 2 is common there but the smaller power is 2 so you see that this is not done you can further factorize this which is what now which is 2 now that one is out so we are represented by that x minus as you can see the first two is out two minus one it will be two there so you see that it's two y there do you see that you can further factorize this but now how do you write it when you write it you say equal to this particular two you write it there two bracket x minus y and then here you write then that which is x minus 2y 
that is done if you leave it here it's incomplete there they're gonna penalize you for this part are you with me so the final answer then becomes that that and that too are you with me i hope you got that i hope you got that retweet give yourself time give yourself the same question and attempt it now we are moving for this part which says changing the sign rule this one changing the sign rule what do they mean look at this question here this one a uh, x minus y plus b now look y minus x i'm gonna explain further look at this if they are giving me this and from here i want to do the same thing x minus y but it's not x minus y it's y minus x you see that's where they say change the sign rule so you're like okay it is the same but not the same the only difference is what a look at this if i can show you this i have got here x minus y on the first bracket on the second one i have got y minus x see the difference it's the sign here x is positive here x is negative here y is negative here y is positive it's the sign they interchange the sign so in a way it's not the same but you have to make it what the same so what do you do you write the first one it's fine x minus y then there is a concept which says you can take out here let me use a different color you can take out here a negative sign you see so let me write it here take out negative so when you're taking out a negative this is what it means it means that's how you you, you write it in general what you do is since you took out a negative from inside here the positive b this positive becomes a minus so you've got now minus b see bracket the y that was positive here becomes minus y the x that was negative become plus x that's what it means the interchanging of sign listen they say changing the sign rule so what it means look at it we just change the sign y was positive y is negative x was negative x is positive now when i write it it is going to be a x minus y now it's minus b see that it has changed now it's minus y plus x let's start with x it's positive x minus y now what do we see this x minus y this x minus y that is that so it missed the rule equal to bracket x minus y then from there you look at that you look at that what do you have outside the bracket You've got a not plus b now minus b then that becomes the answer do you see what we mean by changing the sign rule all right now very important i'm not going to change it let's work another one there 30 is x uh, i'll take it down here x bracket x i'm looking at this one here all right x bracket x minus 3 minus y bracket 3 minus x i think that let's do it here just gonna take it like this similar we're following the same concept look equal to now x minus 3 yes but no but 3 and x are represented so what you do interchange the sign bracket x minus 3 don't change the sign in the first one don't say now don't write it like this this is what some students do they will say you say to interchange the sign so they will like x now minus x plus 3 even here they interchange plus y minus 3 plus x you you, you didn't do anything you are still having now negative x and positive x you see so you interchange only one of them so here you say it x the first one leave as is x minus 3 now negative y it becomes plus y 
Neg positive 3 is minus 3, negative x is plus x. Do you see the interchanging now? Look at it now, which is equal to x, x minus 3, plus y. Now look, x is positive now, minus 3. And then I come, come back and say x minus 3, x minus 3, see? Then I come here and say x minus 3 outside the bracket is what? x plus 1. So far so good. Yes. Did I factorize it well? Perfect. So that is that, guys. Now, the next one that I see here is this one. Is this one. What is it? x a plus b minus y b plus a okay this one was just meant to confuse you look at this they just wanted to confuse you so which is x okay i look at a plus b there and then minus y now the question is is this different no it's not different look a plus b and b plus a everything is positive here so it's same as saying start with the alphabet it's a plus b so that was same as that a plus b is equal to b plus a all right so that is the same so here what you have you have got a plus b straight away and then outside the brackets is what x minus y so you didn't need to change signs you didn't need to change signs you just rearrange they just wanted to confuse you now there is another one 2x here uh, let me write it down here what I have it's 2x it's x minus 1 plus 8 it's um, 1 minus x such are the ones that you need to be careful look at this one so it's 2x it's x minus 1 so far so good x minus 1 but 1 minus x if you see that but you're yeah, like yes 1 is there x is there but they are the same interchange positive 8 negative 8 and then you can just write the answer straight and say x minus 1 is fine but now let's first do the right thing here so that you see where what happened minus 1 plus x so that we get the next stage some they avoid this stage they avoid it but it's correct you know so it's 2x where you rearrange now x minus 1 don't change again you already done it so don't say now plus 8 and you confuse yourself leave it like that you just have to rearrange now x minus 1 that is that so you're just rearranging you see which is 2x sorry sorry and I don't need to write 2x now I need to write x minus 1 what is outside 2x minus 8 again be careful here you see that's where you need to be extra careful if you did the previous lesson this is not done 2 and 8 you can see that 2 here then you write your x minus 1 it's fine but now we are saying 2 into this 2 you see that it will give you x there and then 2 into 8, it gives us 4. See that? That's where you say minus 4. Or you do the old way of factorizing, what we did, which is 2x minus 2 cubed. You see, 2 is common here, which is x minus 2 squared, which is 2x minus 4. There, 2x minus 4. All right. So that's how though you write the answer like this. All right, complicated? Not really. Let's look at the last one here. You are given 4p, 3p, minus q, plus 3q, and q minus 3p. See this? Do the same thing, which is 4p, you see you have got 3p minus q now 
q and 3p they just interchange signs so you also do the same minus 3 q it was positive now it's negative you do the same thing minus q plus 3p i interchange negative positive positive negative that's all i did equal to 4p 3p minus q minus 3q now start with 3p here 3p minus q which is equal to bracket yes yes which is 3p minus q and outside the bracket is what 4p minus 3q then that becomes the answer guys as i was working it out it's not complicated it's not you just need to know what you're doing you just need to remember the concept is what changing the sign rule when they look similar the numbers are, are the same when i'm saying similar like 3p there is minus 3p q there is minus q so they are the same but say the only difference is the signs that's where you use the concept of changing the sign rule meaning you take out what i said you take out the negative remember you are taking out here a minus so when you take out a minus it will come and affect that affect there and affect there so that is that guys and with that the lesson we've come to the end of our lesson now next there it is factorization by grouping it looks simpler but not Be careful and then lastly we are also not lastly actually we are still going to focus on what difference of two squares factorization is why to, to continue after this so now join me in the next lesson for now i have to end it here if you are not subscribed it means you're missing out because as videos are being loaded you are not going to be notified subscribe the subscription button doesn't take energy just to press that one you are my student, you are my online student. I want to see you passing, excelling and getting a distinction. But I need you to follow up every lesson. If I, if you have accepted that I'm going to be your teacher, why don't you subscribe? Because that's the only logical way to ensure that that distinction is not going to escape you. It will put a smile on the, at the end of the day. Just picture yourself in, in November getting your report card with mathematics distinction and you know we were walking this journey i'll be proud you'll be proud it's a win-win but don't forget you need to subscribe i wish you all the best as you prepare for your final exams cheers